classic Thanksgiving week question. What are you grateful for this year? You know, I'm, I'm grateful for, you know, my family. Um, you know, grateful, you know, for my faith, grateful for the opportunity to be here at the University of Tennessee, grateful to be the D-line coach, you know, grateful for health. You know, it's just so many things to be grateful for. I mean, there's so many people out here that are struggling, going through a lot of things that we just take it for granted, you know, how good we have things. Coach, how do you, how do you think Tyler Barron has, has played this season? I think Tyler has, has uh, upped his game. And um, I think he's been more productive. Um, and I think, I think he would tell you is because I think he's invested more into it. So, you know, he's getting more of a return out of it. You know, so, uh, you know, so it's, it's been good to watch the maturity and the growth. Um, and I hope that he thinks that we've helped him, um, you know, somewhat, you know, on, along that path. You know, that's that's what you really want to do as a as a college coach. You want to help these young men grow in all areas, you know, on the field, off the field, classroom, academic, socially, spiritually, everything. So hopefully, you know, he feels like we've helped him uh, to grow in all those areas. Coach, what are you seeing people do the last two or three weeks to try and, and, and slow down the pass rush, extra blockers, keep it a tight end, that, that kind of thing? Well, you know, obviously that's, you know, that's, that's part of it. You know, we've got to uh, – you know, we got to strain harder, you know, um, quick game. We got to do a better job getting our hands up. You know, we got to get pushed. You know, you're going to get chipped. You know, we just got to pre-snap. We got to see things. Um, and we just got to, we got to strain better. You know, we just got to finish. And uh, we got to be technical and uh, fundamentally sound. You know, we just can't go out there and uh, start to freelance, you know, start to stress, you know, some things are not going right. Now you feel like, hey, I can abort everything that I've been taught, everything my teaching, to try to go make a play and not do it inside the scheme. And now you end up giving up a big play. So, you know, we just got to be more attention to detail, stress, you know, really stress, stress and strain. You know, we can, you know, I got to coach them better, teach them better, and we all got to do better. This time of year, what's the balance between trying to make sure your guys who are probably banged up from the season are fresh and ready to go best possible for the game versus still practicing that physicality you're going to expect from them on Saturdays? Well, you know, I think everybody's, you know, banged up. You know, it's a collision sport, you know, so, you know, that comes with it. Uh, but I do think there is a balance, you know, that you've got to be able to have some, some gas in the tank and you've got to be motivated. You know, my thing, you know, this week, man, you know, it's so much bigger than us as individuals. It's, it's about these guys that will never have the opportunity again to run through that tee and to play in Neyland Stadium. You know, it's about playing for your brothers. You know, it's about landing on the line for your brothers. You know, and that's one of the things that I have tried to stress in my room is trying to be more selfless, you know, you know that we, it's not about us. Well, let's make it so much bigger than us, you know. So hopefully, I'm hoping and praying that that's going to carry over uh, because we've got some really good young men uh, that deserve to go out the right way. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. Y'all have a happy thanks. Coach Apple was talking about winning one-on-ones, and he's kind of you know reiterated and gone back to that quite a bit. How do you assess how you guys have done in winning those one-on-ones? Um, I think it, it's been one that's been uh, up and down. Uh, we've won some really good one-on-one -on -one battles. There's been other times where it's been critical and we haven't. Um, and I think that's continuously a part of this process is we got to stay consistent uh, as a, a unit, a wide-out unit, as an offense, as a team. Um, that's kind of the name of what we are, man, is consistent, consistency. So um, the more often we can win those and the more consistently at any level, um, I think the better off we'll be. Coach, just how challenging has it been with the injuries, trying to develop depth, and bring, bring the young guys along, especially you know this deep into the season? It's tough. Uh, it is. Um, but, I mean, that's the name of the game, right? Like, um, Coach Heupel didn't bring me in here to coach a group that's always healthy or to coach a group that's always got, you know, senior All-Americans. Um, I think that's the cool part about this challenge is each year presents challenges within itself. Um, and you got to do a really good job of finding ways to – answer whatever conflict you have in the room and in, in your unit. 
Um, and so when it's going good, right, it's easy to celebrate. But when it's not so good and you got conflict and adversity after adversity, like, man, it's important that you guys, that, that those guys see us as coaches, face adversity the right way, handle it the right way, and they'll ultimately fall, in, fall suit. So um, it has been a challenge, but it's been one of those things where um, the guys see me answer that. They see me uh, kind of adjust to that, and, and I think they're able to feed off of that. I really do. So um, we're going to always accept challenges while I'm here, and um, we plan on continuing to do that. What have you seen out of Nimrod and his ability to rise to the occasion in these past few weeks? He is funny you bring him up. He probably had his best practice today. So that probably answers your question. Like, he's doing a really good job of finding ways to continue to get better each week. I mean, not just him. Caleb Webb in that same breath. Like, those guys had a really good practice today. Um, and I think that speaks volumes to this culture again. Like, we talked about the inconsistencies. We talked about things may not have been going our way. Those guys continue to rise to the occasion and prepare as if we're playing for the Super Bowl, you know, and that, that lets you know what type of culture is in this building um, and what type of kids we're dealing with. They're resilient, they're competitive, and that's what we want to deal with. Nimrod made that catch uh, right before the half the other day, over the middle, contested ball. Um, when you see a play like that against tight coverage, do you – do you emphasize that in film of, like, this is what we want to see more? Do you see a light bulb moment with him with making catches like that? Yeah, you emphasize it everywhere. You emphasize it in practice. You emphasize it in film. And I think when you've got young guys like that playing, I mean, you've got to do a good job of challenging them daily. And when they meet those challenges, you celebrate like crazy and you create new challenges. That's obviously how you create confidence in this game, right? Like, we've had some really successful guys here that ultimately got to where they got to because they were challenged that built confidence, and then they were able to go make plays like that on the field. Um, and I think Chaz making that play was a direct result of what we're doing every week and every day in practice. So we celebrate those type of plays like crazy because that's an SEC play. That's a routine catch in the SEC. And when guys are able to uh, lift their level of play and reach that standard, it's exciting to see. And the most exciting part is the growth that comes after that. So he's in a really good spot. Um, like I said, those other young guys are in a really good spot. And we got to use that momentum to stay consistent and, and win these matchups on the outside. Kelsey, with Dante, what was allowing him to find some more success out on the perimeter? And, and what will be key for him this offseason when he gets back from his injury to, to build off of what he was able to, to do outside and carry that into next year? Yeah, I think, man, sometimes we, like even me, like look for like really complex answers. I think the answer for him was just he got comfortable. And that came with reps, right? Like he was halted in the spring. He had a hamstring injury. Um, and then he didn't really get to get a bunch of reps. So through camps, through the season, he was actually getting those reps, supplementing those reps from the spring, like in real time. And I think just the more he was able to play, the more comfortable he got. Um, and we plan on this off season being able to to use that and help him going forward. So um, he just needed the reps, I think. Coach, what are you thankful for this holiday season? I'm thankful for you guys, man. Like you guys come in in the rain jackets. And <laughs> I forget. I forgot it was raining outside. But man, just being able to be here uh, in this position, I'm not sure if a bunch of you guys know, but man, like a couple years ago, I was a D3 coach, um, and I'm watching interviews like this of guys I look up to. Um, but similar to what I'm talking to you guys about with our players and the battles that that they're facing, like, I mean, you face them in your personal life, and those lessons you want to use when you're a coach, you use those lessons to help your guys get through those same type of, of difficulties and, and tough times. And so being able to remember my lessons and the things that I've been through and now ultimately able, able to give them to our guys is the biggest blessing in the world. Um, so just being up here at this podium is kind of surreal. Um, I'm always thankful to have this opportunity and I think that's why I put so much effort and, be, and I'm so intentional with, with this platform that I'm in because I know it's a bunch of people that love to be here. I want to make sure I'm pouring into these guys every second that I, I can. So, super thankful. Uh, back to Thornton, you mentioned you know finding comfort the more he repped and everything. Did that have a specific um, change? You know, moving from the slot to the outside, or was it just more reps and practice every day, regardless of where he was lining up? I think um, I think with with that kid, like you just got to find ways to get him comfortable. And sometimes with new guys that move in, like you got to try to push different buzzes to see what works, right? He's a transfer. We were still trying to figure out, you know, 
how how he got comfortable in certain spots. And once we got him outside, um, I think he was able to kind of find a fit there. Um, and it, it just kind of worked. So um, I think that's the things that you always have to assess, like where guys are comfortable in certain spots. It's no different than, you know, it's a basketball analogy. Guys got their spot on the floor that they get to and they can knock those down. I think football players, you have the same thing. You just got to find where their rhythm spots are. And outside just so happened to be his. Coach, how, did you man how do you manage a guy like Nathan Leacock, who obviously came in pretty highly touted, had a really big high school career, senior year, and now he's not playing as much as he probably hoped he was or hoped he would coming in? How do you kind of manage him through a season, and how is he progressing? You coach him just as hard as you coach the best guy in the room. Like, um, those guys know when they come in, like, nobody is different from the other. Like, you got different temperaments. You have different ways of getting through, through two guys. But ultimately, like, I'm going to coach Nathan just as hard as I'm going to coach Brew or Jalen High or Cedric Tillman. Like, everybody's going to get coached hard. Um, and I think that creates a respect in the room that once guys are playing, like, it's earned. It ain't something that coach, you know, gave him. It's not something where this guy started on second base and we got it different. Like, everybody's going to go the same route and kind of create the same type of work ethic. Um, that way, when you're playing, like, everyone in the room knows that, man, he earned that. Um, and Nathan's doing a good job of that. He's another one. Today, he had a really good practice. Really, the last two to three weeks, He's been practicing really well. Um, and as he continues to get reps uh, in practice, you'll continue to see growth from him. For Chaz and Caleb, just what's key for them this offseason to build off of some of the, the success that they've had here the second half of the season? Man, I think going into the offseason with an open mind, um, and I say that, uh, like going to the offseason with a clean slate. Like they got to go in the offseason um, feeling like they're starting from square one. Um, and I'm talking about being gritty being competitive and fiery in their preparation. Like every rep's got to be like a game rep. You got to treat every rep with the mentality and the urgency like the game's on the line in this fourth quarter. And when you do that, the game slow down. It slows down for you because my training, my mind sped up, my sense of awareness is heightened. That way when I'm in the game, like those things slow down because I put myself in that place mentally so many times that I can't get off, off task or out of kilter. Um, and I think that mentality for those guys will help them tremendously this offseason. And they've, they've already started to do that. And it's showing up in one-on-one -on -one reps and team reps in practice. So um, outside of the offseason, I'm looking forward to playing this game this weekend. We know what this game means to our fan base. Um, it means a lot to our players. And we're going we're gonna to come out. We're going to need all the fans. We're going to come out and, and come out the right way. Um, we plan on it being a good one this weekend. Thank you, Coach. Yes, sir.